Hi everyone, welcome to the Draw with Pixar tutorial. My name is Benjamin Su. I've been an animator at Pixar for the past 10 years. Some of the movies I've worked on include Inside Out, Coco, uh, Toy Story 3 and 4. Today we'll be learning to draw Woody from Toy Story. Uh, so let's get started. So I'm going to start with the line of action, which is the line that flows through the entire body from head to toe. Uh, next I'm going to draw the biggest shapes of the body, which is the torso and the head. Um, the secret to making your life easier when you're drawing is to break the object into simple forms. Um, just about any object can be broken down into simple shapes such as circles, rectangles, uh, squares, and triangles. So as, as you can see, I'm doing a rectangle for the body and head and half a circle to round off the bottom of the torso. And I'm quickly just putting down stick lines for the feet and arms and just making sure the feet stays on the page and that the arm length is correct. Next, I'm going to do uh, just finishing up the head here. I want to focus on the face guideline, which divides the face in the middle, determines the tilt of the head. And also, I did a little guideline at the base of the eyes. This lets me line up the eyes properly. Um, add two quick circles for the eyeball. Um, going to add the nose line coming down from the uh, eyebrow here. Um, want to make sure that the, there's two more circles I'm going to add inside the eyeballs, which is the iris. And I'm shading it in, but I'm leaving a little highlight on top uh, just to give them a little bit more life. Um, just thick, thickening up the lines a little bit for the side of the face, adding a little smile to Woody. Uh, his mouth is basically a triangle. Um, adding the teeth on top, shading the inside of the mouth leaving a little bit of a tongue at the bottom here. See, let's work on his jaw a little bit. Let's tighten up the jaw a little bit. I'm following this, the rectangle that I drew earlier for the shape of the head. So it's, the reason why I did that is so that now I have the base and then I'm just adding the little detail lines on top of the, the simple shapes. Uh, the ear is a little bit of a small rectangle. Make sure our jawline goes up a little bit. Yeah, so let's darken up the eye line a little bit here. Generally, you want to make the eyes a little dark, just so that that's usually where people look at. And you want to make sure the eyes stand out. The hat. Let's do. Let's just finish the uh, the top of the head so that we know um, how the hat sits on top of it. The brim of the hat is basically a skinny, long rectangle with uh, the corners going on top. I'm gonna make sure the eyebrows are a little darkened as well. We're going to add the back line of the, the hat. Now I'm just going to add the little uh, strings that go around the broom before I forget. And then there's the little design at the bottom of the hat. Let's shade that in. And shade in the hair as well. The bandana is basically an, uh, a triangle that's that's upside down and then I'm adding a little circle for the for the knot I'm just gonna bring up the two straps um, at the end of the knot adding a little line um, in between and also I'm gonna bring out these lines um, in the bandana that kind of shows the tension coming out of the knot I'm gonna add a little quick guideline in the middle of the rectangle, which shows me the center of the body. So once I can do that, I can draw the, the, the two sides of the vest. So the sheriff badge can be a little tricky, but it's basically just two triangles and one of them is upside down. And I'm adding these circles at the end of each point. Just darkening up the line, the outline a little bit here. So the bottom of the torso is basically um, a half a circle. Now I can quickly draw in the buckle, which is right in the middle of the, the guideline as well. And 
he's adding the belt in there. So let's darken up the lines for the vest. And we're going to add in the uh, sort of the cowl um, pattern designs on his vest now. Shade those in. Do it on both sides. And, oh, don't forget the buttons. We have two buttons that also falls in the center line. As we start doing the legs, imagine the legs as a long stretch rectangle. I'm making a little mark in the middle, which is the knee. The, the boots are just a little outside the leg lines. I'm making the points a little sharper. Let's add a little heel at the back of the boot. And adding circles for the, the buckle and the strap. Yeah, at the outline a little darker. And uh, yeah, adding a little shadow line. I want to make sure um, the feet are lined up. That's why I did a little line underneath the feet so that we know exactly um, the feet are, are standing in the same plane. Um, also, I just want to say that this is Kind of like the first step to animating, um, you need pose drawings like this, except you need many more drawings. Uh, it's 24 drawings to be exact for one second of movement. Um, so that is how hand drawing animation is done. Um, but at Pixar, our movie animation are uh, usually done on the computer. So you have a 3D model of Woody uh, with controls on all his joints, uh, which allows the animator to move him. Uh, and it's the same principle as hand drawing. You're going to need 24 frames of movement to create one second of film. Um, that's why it takes hundreds of people and many years to make a film at Pixar. Um, for the arm, think of it as two rectangles being connected. Um, the lower arm sort of tapers down a little bit as it closer to, gets closer to the hand. Um, the hand um, is base can be tricky, but it's basically a little uh, square, and I'm just adding upside down V shapes for the knuckles. Um, just darkening up the outline a little bit here. Uh, oh, don't forget the um, holster, which is sort of a triangular shape at the bottom. Let's see, I'm gonna do the other hand, same thing, two rectangles attached. We're going to taper down a little bit as it goes, as it comes towards the hand. The little square is sort of like the, the rolled up sleeve. I don't know if you can see very well, but the, the finger that's tipping the hat is basically each, treat the fingers, uh, each joint as a rectangle. Um, the knuckles are upside down V shapes in this case, because his hand is looking for up. Gonna add, um, darkening up the lines a little bit. I wanna add the patterns on the shirt that goes all the way across the arm. And there's a line that goes through it. Now it's to the other arm. Yeah. Oh, don't, and we gotta do the same thing for the shirt on, the, on this chest. And I think the belt buckle logo is like a little cow, I believe. So I'm gonna just do a very simple form of that. I like to go in and just darken up the overall outline sometimes, just to make sure that the character stands out. He looks a little bolder. Let's add a little shading underneath the boot. Yeah, um, sometimes it's hard to let a drawing go. I just want to go in and just tweak it a little bit more. Yeah, again, um, I might have gone a little too fast, but take your time. You can always pause the video and ref reference it again. Um, drawing is not a race. Um, it's about having fun. Just adding a little shadow underneath Woody. Adding a little 
shade to uh, the bandana here and underneath his, his chin there. Yeah, I could tweet this forever. It'll never get done. <laughs> um, don't forget to sign your name. Hope you guys had fun. Thanks so much for drawing along with me. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, feel free to share your drawings online using the hashtag drawwithpixar. I hope all of you are staying safe and thanks for tuning in.